What is going on guys? It is your boy Violent Reflex here bringing you guys a little bit of a different kind of video today. It is going to be a 3v3 tourney run by legendary tourneys and it is going to be Nova versus Box. Now, Box has definitely, holy crap, these nades are ridiculous. Anyways, back into this. Box has come out of, let's go ahead and jump on over here with Mel. Here's the bomb going on. But Box has come out of the losing bracket, so they do have to win two in a row today, and it looks like they will be sweeping round one. Uh, you saw how they like to... You saw at the very first of the round that they like to get those pre-nades in, but I did see a couple members on Box's team go for that pre-snipe, and I feel like that's... That's always my favorite, as you can tell from uh, some of the videos, that that's my favorite way to go. It's a very high-risk, high-reward uh, move to do. I completely agree. It is a very high risk. If you can do it right, however, it does, and it looks like they are going to be... We're going to get that mutual host in. Yep, we're going to get that mutual easy. host. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking thing. <laughs> Alrighty, dude. So right. I will be backing out to host this so we can get that neutral host in here and get this stuff going. Looks like are they're gonna, going to be Do you want to restart? Are they going to down one or are we going to restart they, to get? Box is going to be up 1-0. Oh. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right back into this recovery, search, and destroy. It is going to be the finals of a free 3v3 tourney run by legendary tourneys. We already have started this match before and... Box's team did go up 1-0 against Nova. Now, after seeing that first round, we did see a lot of pre-nades and a lot of pre-scopes. What do you think, Kegel, uh, will happen this round? Uh, mainly whoever gets that, uh, whoever gets the first, whoever gets the first kill usually, especially if it's the pre-nades, it's gonna piss them off a little bit. I know from, uh, from personal experience of I always got pissed if I got prenated and it really messed up my mo momentum going into the later rounds and I completely agree with you and I'm gonna go ahead and jump on here with Boxa oh and it looks like Mel will be going down to a pre-snipe coming from Nova's team but it looks like Box is gonna be right up here right around their right around the side of their base so he's gonna be able to actually come up right behind them and actually get that get that little hit on the side oh that flank is going down it's gonna be a 1v3 1v2 yeah. option with the bomb down. Well, he does solved. know that he is here. Oh, and he is oh. not able to pull off the round. It is going to be 1-1. One, one. Whew, that was a little bit, uh, a little yeah, bit of was, a momentum change right there. I was, was it not? I, I was. Uh, he, I feel like he should have, uh, shouldn't have done. Maybe not a challenge. As soon as he saw him, maybe he should have backed off for a little bit because he knew that the, uh, his teammate was near. Yeah, it, at that point, it's really up in the air what you should do. A lot of people, let's go ahead and jump on back with Boxa again. All right. But a lot of people really think that challenging it half the time is not the right way to go. Oh, they were actually really smart about that. They were avoiding that pre-nade going around into radar. And it looks oh. like they're going to go ahead and already put down the bomb at A. Looks like they have one down on the other team, so it's going to be a 3v2 situation in favor. Oh. Oh, and shots Fox fired. is getting shots fired. Shots have been down. He is a one shot right now. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be a 2v2. 1v2 situation. Oh, oh and oh. they are able to clean it up. A 2v3 situation going in favor of Nova. Now, it looks like we got some fun little showboating going on with Nova shooting some bodies. Just like good old times. It's going to be 2-1 in favor of Nova. <laughs> now, this this startup of the game, it looks like Nova... I'm going to go ahead and jump on with him. He has definitely got the momentum going his way right now. Uh, I guess that, that host change really did help out their team a lot. Oh, it looks like one box is going to be going down. Oh, it's going to be trading kills. Some shots being fired over at a bomb, but he's unable to connect with any of them. And it looks like they will be backing off, but he does have one on his flank right here to the right. Oh, oh, and he does get picked up. I'm going to go ahead and jump on with 
Oh, looks Never like we're not going to be coming on with anybody. It is going to be tied 2-2. Two, two. No favors of either team. That was a big round. That was a big round for... Uh... That definitely was a big round for Box's team. If they didn't get that, they'd be down 3-1. And it is... That, at that, that point, it's really hard to get momentum back into, you know, your your game. And it's really hard if you just get down on yourselves to stay alive in a game. So I'm actually going to go ahead and jump on with Mel. It's 2-2 right now. It does right. have that IMR out right now. Look at that first fire. Looks like oh, a lot of pre-nades. A lot of... Oh, looks like they're actually going to juke them out and go back towards B side running in through cave. If you, as you can see on the mini map though, that everybody on the opposite team is going to be over at A bomb, and it looks like it's gonna be a three v two situation once again. Oh, but it looks like he's gonna have some confrontation right there. Oh, he's gonna he's got two down. going down. Oh, oh, one v two. One v two situation. Oh, and he oh, will be cleaned up, up, making it three two in favor of Nova's team. Now, did you, uh, did, you, did you agree with immediately putting the bomb down, even though that he was that far into enemy spawn without any teammates? Um, I definitely would never, ever recommend putting down the bomb without a single teammate even close enough around you. The trade kills with the other team is very, it's a very common thing that happens. It's a very big mistake. Being Especially unable to, you know, trade kills really puts your team down in a spot. Let's go ahead and jump back on with Dunzo. He's gonna get these pre nades in. Let's see if he hits any of them, and he does not. It looks like his team will be trying to pull it more towards B side now. Oh, he does see that one though, and he is a unable to clean oh, him up completely. Fine. He is definitely one shot though, having his teammates come around, and actually, he didn't pick up the kill. I was expecting him to pick up that kill right there, but he was unable to get that kill. It looks like he's going to be in a 1v2 situation with both players coming from both sides. He does pick up oh. one. Can he pick up the other one and finish off the round? Looks like he's going to actually go right back over and try to pick up that bomb that's on top of his base. But as you can see on the mini-map, he does have one of the opposite the opposite teammate is just sitting in the middle of the map. It looks like he was unable to see him though right there. It looks like they're both just going to be camping it out. But Dunzo does have to put that bomb down, so he puts him in a little bit of a pickle right there. He does pick up that bomb though. But which bomb will he go for? Which, which one do you think he should go for, Gago? Should he go for B and keep pushing for it, or should he go and rotate A? Maybe fake out it. I guess B, but since he doesn't know, he doesn't know what we know right now due to the lovely COD vision. I guess it is a smart. Oh, and it looks uh, like he's going to get picked off right here as he's coming around oh. the corner. Oh, and he's able to. Oh, and he was almost able to pull that away. But it looks like Boxa ah. and their team will be able to pull off the round, making it a 3 3 situation once again. That was definitely a huge round. Oh, 100% a huge round. Making it 3 3 due to their plus one from their previous matchup. Really. It really helped him out a lot. Um, let's go ahead and jump back on here with Friend or Fiend, I guess you could say, S7. He's gonna get that pre-nade in once again. These guys really do like their pre-nades, especially on this map. He does hit one though, but he doesn't get the kill. And it looks like they're gonna be playing this time pretty slow. You do see one of their get teammates advancing into the enemy spawn. Not the greatest idea due to the fact that he is alone. But it does draw and they know, people, they definitely but he does have one guy right here to his front left. Oh, he doesn't. He, oh, he does see him. He does see him. He's going to. Oh, he doesn't pick him up, though. He's going to have to be careful as he does have three guys all around him. Oh, and he is unable to pick up that kill. But it's going to make it a 1v3 situation, making it a very tough spot for Mel. He's only 2v4 right now. He does have that IMR. Which can do a lot of damage, in my opinion. Do you not, do you not say, Kegel? Uh, most definitely, but it's more of a longer range, so I don't really necessarily agree with him trying to push back spawn. Yeah, he's definitely going to be put in a little bit of a bind right here, going into back spawn with an IMR. As you just see, he does pick up one, but does get picked up right away. Going into back spawn, he had it completely... He, he was completely surrounded. He, he had yeah, no most, choice. Most, def most definitely. You have to go super huge, especially in a 1v3. Exactly. 
he I wonder, probably sh if I were him, I would have put that bomb down right away, try to get them pull out and make him so he can actually, you know, just make plays off the bomb instead of having to make plays off the whole map itself. I, I wanna hop on board here with uh with Nova right now. He's on a three he was on a three kill streak from the last he was on a three kill streak last round. He is, yes. looks like he got picked up last round though, so he's he'll be back on a zero. But he is six and four right now. One of the best in the lobby, the best in the lobby. Sorry about that. Um, he's going to be pushing that spawn really quickly though. I've seen a lot of teams starting to do this, and they do get picked up rather quickly. And he does, as, as you can see. As you can see, and it looks like Nova will be going down a one v three situation. 1v2 situation with two guys right on the other side. Ooh. Oh, but he does get away. Oh, and he runs right into the other team. Looks like it's going to be a 4-4 four, four situation. My I think this God. is going to come down to whoever has the defense last. Yeah. Definitely need to get a... Uh, definitely need to get a defensive... Uh, need to get start thinking about... Because it is a very close game. They keep going back and forth, back and forth. They really need to get that offensive uh, win... In order to put themselves up, you know, one round, able to uh, get out that extra momentum that they need to finish off. Let's go ahead and jump on with Dunzo once again. Starting off with those pre nades. It's pretty. Are, are, are those pre nades? No, those are pre stuns. I keep saying pre nades, but, you know, they're stuns. But now, looks why like would you. They're gonna be full rushing that. Oh, Lord. Why yes, would you one guy on the flank, though. Oh, oh, and he does pick up one. He does get picked up right away, though. Looks like he's he going to be right here. Oh, oh, he, did, he didn't see him. He did not see him. Oh, he does see him again now. But he has an ASM1. Oh. The other guy has an IMR. And it's going to be a 1v2 situation. He does play it smart and get out of that situation. Very good call. But it looks like it won't be enough to oh, save gonna, his team. Oh, and he oh. does get him. They are able to pick him up, making it a 5-4 situation once again. Now this is this is going to be interesting right here. Whether or not they can win their uh, their offense, or I mean their defense right here, keep it up for box, and you know make it a five-five situation. Who do you want to hop on board here with? Oh, man, dude, I'm really uh, you know what? I'm going to call for the underdog. I'm going to call for Fiend. I'm going to I'm going to hope that he actually can pull off some you know some good stuff right here real quick because he is four and six as you can tell but they are gonna go, they're gonna be full rushing a real quick let's jump up here with the mini map it looks like they're gonna go ahead and put that bomb down right away and they're gonna be in a complete complete downfall right here if they cannot pick up at least one of these guys as they do have a good setup oh it looks like he's gonna be a 2v3 situation Oh, and he does pick oh, up that one. one. Oh, oh but he does get picked up right away. It is going to be a 1v2 situation in favor of Nova's team. Now, if he is able to pick up this map, he would have to get this kill really quick. And he does need to go straight for that bomb defuse because he is going to be sitting in the back of the map just waiting for him. Oh, he might be able to get... Oh, he almost picks him up as he does not, and he will lose the round. And that's game. And that is game right there, for ladies and gentlemen. Nova has won the tournament. They did not drop a single map throughout the whole tournament. It has been a crazy day here for Legendary Attorneys, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video and the finals. Congratulations to Dunzo, Brandon, and Nova, as you guys did a remarkable job today. I hope all you guys enjoyed the tourney out there. Good, good games to everybody that played, and this has been Violent Gaming and Legendary Attorneys signing out. You can say goodbye, Kegel. Bye.